every single time that I walked on that stage, I realized what I had gone through. I realized that the steps that I had taken or my family had taken, you know, my wife, um, even my kids, all of those things. So you walk on firmly. You take the steps onto that stage firmly because you know from whence you came and what you did and how hard you worked to get this. You know, you have to have the passion. Yes, you have to have the, the, the mind for it and, and, and everything else. But I think what we as artists must always remember is that each and every one of us goes through those kinds of passages in which we think to ourselves, this will never happen. Am I good enough? Am I worthy of this? So now you get to a character like Emil Griffith. So Emil Griffith, in, in essence, is that same kind of a person. You know, he comes from a foreign place. What is America about? What is this place about? You know, I've got my little Pan Am ticket in my hand here. And, um, you know, what is this culture about? Um, I'm a nobody. And then I become somebody. But even as, as Emil became somebody, there was a humbleness to him. Put aside the fact, you know, the, the, the hidden part of him at that point. But there is within him still this, this, this childlike quality. Like when he jumps into the arms of his trainer and he wins and everything else, you know, this childlike quality and everything else. So Emil always made me think that he knew where, you know, where he was coming from. And he knew what he had to do. Those bricks above my head, all of those things that I had, you know, those are the things that informed him. So he had a hunger. It's the hunger that, that we as artists must have and we must carry on. You know, like Marcus, you know, exploring himself, exploring, exploring his, his culture, exploring his history. These are the things that we need to do and we need to hold on to. And those are the things that informed me. I will tell you that every single time I walked on that stage, every single time I, walk, I took the first shuffling step to go on that stage, I thought of my family. I thought of the fact that, that he was from St. Thomas and I'm from St. Croix and that I walked with, with my shoes in my hands and that I had a Pan Am ticket to come up to this country as well. So I was deeply in that form. And by the time that music, that da 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 da, I was in, I was done. I was in that man. I don't know when Emil stopped, except when the music stopped. Mm. You know, from the very beginning, I knew what he was about. I knew that, that feeling, that, 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 that hunger that he had and everything else. So it, it just, it just took over. And that's the glory of the steps that you take to get there. That's the glory of all the, all the times that you doubt yourself. The times you turn to your wife and you go, oh man, you know, why are we doing this? Those steps, those little steps are what informs you and allows you to do what we do. All of us, every single one of us, wherever we come from, however we came here, however we're here, you know, that's what gets us. That's what brings us this hunger to do and to express. And we have to keep that and hold on to that. And that's what informs me. This is my show.